so what I've got today is the addition of these axes, the green, blue, and red, um, as well as the ability to pivot this using the mouse, which was surprisingly time consuming. Um, the other thing that I've done is I was thinking it's probably important for at least one point to be locked to the green axis so that we can take a measurement directly facing the sample. So I've added the ability to either turn that on or off, this is what it looks like when it's on. Once it's in position, everything shifts around to be evenly distributed again. Um, and that remains true for higher numbers of readings in that cloud.